Greetings programs, Per Pianissimo here, and welcome back to the Vintage Story Tutorial. So after programming my world settings and then looking for a seed that met all of my requirements, I decided on this one. I have customized my skin. So on your map, you want to mark your spawn point. Just right click on the map. I'm just going to name it spawn. And I'm going to pin that. Actually, let's go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to mark where these traders are. So the very first things that we need to do in a new world is take care of our inventory. And the first step to do that is making a knife. So today we're going to learn how to nap. The first thing I need to look for are some stones or flint. Now we want to be careful only to pick up flint or stones at this point because our inventory will be very limited. We are also looking for sticks. There is some flint. Limestone. That is the main stone of the area and it is a sedimentary rock so we cannot make tools out of it. But I happen to have two pieces of flint from that node. Let's see if we could find a stick. Guess that'd be no, so we're going to break some leaves and get a stick that way. Now that we have our flint and our sticks, we are going to crouch place one of our flint and then we are going to select knife blades. Now I like to press C to open my character window. That way this doesn't move around as you're moving your mouse. And all of these little highlighted voxels you just take your other piece of flint in your hand and you can hold your mouse down and break all these apart. Now, if you switch off of your flint, yeah, you'll try to click on it and it won't work. Put your flint back in your hand and then you can mash the two together and it knocks the edges off. Now, you don't have to knock all of these off just all of the stuff that attaches to what you're trying to form. So now we have two knife blades. We're going to put those over our sticks and then create two knives. Next, we're going to hunt a stack of reeds to make baskets for our inventory. As you can see, we have no slots at the moment and make an external basket that we can put down and put things in. What we're looking for are bodies of water that have the reeds. So we'll go to this one and see what we can find. And there I see quite a few along the edge here. So this is a matter of just starting to break them out. Now you can break the base of the reed as well. It does require a knife to get the bottom piece. We can either cook these to eat if we're hungry the first day or two, or we can save them and we can plant our reeds someplace else. When I'm starting, I usually just gather the entire stack and go ahead and gather the bases as well. Oh, and here we have some sticks on the ground. Always good. As you can see, I got a piece of grass that's also important because with two pieces of grass and a stick, we can make a torch. We can't use it for light yet, but, <laughs> but that's coming up. As I'm going around, I am still looking for sticks and we will need yet another piece of grass. And we'll also need flint, at least in this world, since we cannot use any other stones. And it's always a good idea to gather the flint as you find it. Okay, there went one of my knives. And since I gathered a bit of grass, it didn't last the whole 32. I've got enough flint to make another knife. And as you can see, it's starting to get dark. Ideally, you want all of this done before dark. It should be easy enough if you're not busy chatting about trying to record a tutorial 
So I am going to just gather the tops until I have all 64. And there is 64. I want to head back to my camp. Right now I am camping where those traders are in my world. And when you head back to camp, you want to be sure that you have a couple of flint on you and a couple of sticks. Okay, now that we have our reeds, let's make some inventory. Just put them into a small U shape and we have these little hand baskets. Pull one out and then sit it in the little basket slot and you can see it gives us three slots. Let's do that three more times. <laughs> the traders are making a little music. Then with these last 24, you hold your left mouse and drag them around in a circle. So there are three in each slot in the square. And then you have a basket. This basket you can put down anywhere as long as it's not claimed by a trader. And now we have some place we can put things away. You guys, this is way too loud. Oh, yeah, they're all mad now. But I'm going to put it in your vessel over here so it won't spoil. Well, it probably will spoil, but uh, there we go. Another thing we can do while we are waiting for sunrise, we have our flint and we will put one down and we are going to select the ax head this time. Press C and now we are hitting it with our other piece of flint to make an ax. Same with the knife, we put the head up top and then the stick underneath, it only takes one, and now we have an axe. I hope I was able to explain things so that you could understand and you got a really good start on your first day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. In the meantime, play hard, <laughs> die often, and leave a good looking corpse.